I gave myself 2 hours and 30 minutes to create an animation that was nice to look at and this is what we ended up with. Ah, uh, not quite, but to see how we got there in the end, you gotta keep watching I guess. Starting off, we are creating our base character inside Dare Studio, which is my go-to for characters. And I knew I wanted to get a hideous, a real hideous guy going. So we just did all sorts of shapes and sizes, like some skinny zombie-esque looking dude. We extended the limbs for both the legs and the arms. And then first of all, I just wanted to get a still pose going. But we'll end up changing that to an animation and bringing that dude into Marvelous Designer. I wanted some really rudimentary, easy shapes and easy garments going because, well, the time wasn't going easy on me. And then we just did some basic shapes. We made him a really, really long robe and just played around until everything seems to fit. Copied that main robe, gave him a long skirt, I guess, and just made sure the UVs were tight simulated the pose and then it's off to Cinema 4D to get the base shape for the helmet done. So I just did that using a sphere and booling out that sphere with another sphere and a tube and then just adding spikes to the top of it. Using the dynamic place tool we can just easily place the spike along that surface without any issue whatsoever. And after we've done that I just made sure that okay yeah fits well works nicely. We bring that guy into Blender because I want some really really ugly UVs. So I do need some UVs for texturing that inside substance. So I'm using the Blender Smart Unwrap. Not a good choice. For some meshes it's really good. For some meshes, meshes it's not that good. But in this case it worked. And as we are on a time crunch with one hour and 10 minutes already passed. We are simulating inside Marvelous. And no worries, the timer should still be going when I'm actually doing stuff, but as I'm waiting on the simulation for my animated Daz character, I figured I would stop the timer most of the times. As well as when I'm importing and exporting stuff or creating Alembic files, I figured I would stop the timer because I'm not actively creating anything. That's what I did to give myself a bit more leeway at least. And now I'm prepping the mesh for substance, just combining every mesh that has the same texture as well as deleting everything that isn't visible. So we just end up with the bare necessities inside Substance Painter and we gave the robe some fabric materials and we'll just we are combining smart materials and smart masks for everything that we are doing. There is no real detail work involved just some very basic texturing because once again there's an hour and six minutes left on the clock. So I figured I'd just import the Daz textures and add some additional griminess to his face. So it just, it just looks disgusting and not as appealing visually. Um, do the same for the torso since that will be visible. Do the same for the gloves. Just so it all fits together loosely. And added the same smart mask and smart materials to our helmet as well as the gums and the teeth. I skipped the eyes because they won't be visible. Now I'm blocking out a basic landscape inside Cinema 4D that I can put into Unreal. I just plastered some displacers over it, added a remesher and a volume builder and whatnot just so we can get a good base going. Terrible idea but it worked out at the end so after importing every animation and Alembic file into Unreal we block out our scene with the landscape material. And after setting up a very simple dolly zoom with the cam, we can just block out the scene by placing some trees. I just wanted to make sure that we get a good balance going. So whenever the camera is moving forward and the focal length changes, that the balance towards the back isn't as disrupted as it was at the beginning of me placing these thinking yeah sure why not place water in there so i just slapped the plane with the water material in there while also adding some foliage bushes and just greenery inside the ia scatter plugin tool which is super easy i struggled with the wind parameter of one of the plants but i got it fixed at the end um but it was really tripping me off so i had no idea why that was happening but it worked out so with 10 minutes roughly left on the clock i didn't know what i could do except for changing the mood and the lighting by just adjusting fog, sky, 
lighting values, all that stuff. Because I did want to give myself a bit more time towards the end so I could do some color correcting, some very basic color correcting inside After Effects. And at this point I was like, yeah, sure, we're done. So let's just send that off. I added depth of field using the Frischluft plugin for uh, After Effects because that mostly gets better results than the depth of field inside Unreal Engine. And I also added basic color correction using Colorista and Dehancer for the film grain, the halation, a bit of bloom and just something very basic and this is what we ended up with. With 2 hours and 30 minutes on the clock, that result was pretty good, if I might say so myself, but I wanted to push it some more. So as you can see at the top right there's a timer ticking upwards, and I wanted to see how much time it would take to refine this animation some more. But what I started off doing is adding some rope simulations to the dude. That's what I wanted to do in the first place, but due to time constraints I couldn't, obviously if you couldn't tell. But yeah, I spent like 15 minutes trying to get those rope simulations to work. I messed around with adding crosses and adding secondary objects, but it wouldn't really turn out the right way. But after 50 minutes I thought, yeah, this is a result that is good enough for what I'm trying to achieve, considering there's not just him as the main focus on the scene, but there's also two more secondary characters, which you can see me refine right here. I started off creating a little girl in Daz once again. I wanted to give her like this beekeeper-esque helmet, just some black void garment that fills her head with a cage around it. And I brought that into Daz, made sure she has only the necessary meshes on like shoes and gloves, which are visible. And then I'm just refining the animations for two of them. Super basic, no, no good animation, it's just pose shapes that change from A to B with some slight variations in between, but that was good enough for my use case. Could have been pushed more, yes, but I didn't. And then I head off into Marvelous Designer to once again make her super simple robe. This time around I wanted to, the robe to be sort of the same, but not entirely, so I made sure that her hood was like multi-layered and I really liked the look of that poncho that I gave her but it messed with my simulation and I tweaked the poncho so at the end it still came out looking good. Sure it wasn't what I initially imagined but that's okay you don't always things don't always work out the way you thought they would just like here the animation is all messed up because her limbs are too close to the body. I thought I paid mind to that when I did the animation inside Daz. Turns out I didn't, or at least not enough, but that's okay. We jump into Substance Painter and we do the same thing. Now this time I wanted her robe as well as the dude's robe to have like this fabric stitching of that sigil I created. Nothing crazy, just some bump map and then we are into Unreal after importing all these different Alembic files and textures and whatever the fuck so we got it to work and then we can block out our scene. So I wanted there to be night, I wanted the light to come from the back and the side and I wanted it to either beam through a window or like some old walls and that's what I did. So we just added a few shapes, a few lights and a few light blockers to set the mood that I was going for. And that's basically it. This time around I also added some greenery by using trees and I added particles that animate and flow in the air. Played around with the different light sources because I really wanted them to be the key of the animation with him in the back. And that's what I wanted to achieve. So by adding some tiny fog and some more stuff we could really push the contrast of these two sisters and the guy. And after an additional 5 hours this is what we got. I hope you enjoyed this short, sweet little breakdown. I plan to do more of these 2 hour 30 minute challenges in the future, so if you have any thematical suggestions, whether it's inspired by video game XY or just keywords, feel free to drop them down in the comments, maybe I'll get to them one day. 
because this was really fun and I hope you got something out of this as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.